folks, welcome to Monterey's Cooking. I'm John Pisto. Today we got a real great program. Man, I can't wait to get into this. We're up in Lake Tahoe. Look at this lake behind us. Isn't this amazing? Now this is in May. It's a little chilly actually. The wind's blowing a little bit, but blue sky, crisp, ice cold water from the tap. You know, we spent a lot of time up here with our friends, Ricardi's, the Solaris. We used to have a blast. But this time we're up here with the Clarks. Nice. Now, you know, hey, we've done some hey, shows go. with hey, Michael Bolton. And he said, John, next time I come close to your area, you've got to cook for me. I want, to, want you to cook these old Sicilian dishes. So, Michael, we're going to see what we can do. So, he's in Reno. Okay, we're going to go see him tonight. So, when we come back, we'll be in the kitchen. Before we make the special dish, I got to introduce you to my special guests and helpers today. And I'm going to make, let them make this, okay? This is Therese. Hi, Therese. Hi. Therese Clark. And we also have Lindsay Clark. Hello. who just graduated and is now a full-fledged doctor. Congratulations. Thank you okay. very much. And I'm going to let these girls do this themselves. Okay, we've Exciting. done all it. Okay, now this We're is ready. an old Sicilian dish called pasta cachada. And there's actually, I found it in only one book. And I know nobody else makes this in Monterey. So, you mm -hmm. know, this, my mom used to make this when we'd go to the beach and we'd have a beach party. And she'd make this and she'd wrap it in a blanket, we'd take it on the beach, and we open it up, and we have pasta. And everybody else would be barbecuing hot dogs and hamburgers, and we're eating pasta. But, Sounds you know, we're, like a great barbecue. Yeah, we're Italians, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so are you guys. That's right. Okay, Okay. so what we're going to do is we're going to put this together. What we've got is a sauce. We've got the cooked pasta. We've got a combination of cheeses, seasoned breadcrumbs, eggs, and eggplant. Okay? Right. Now, we know, now, we've been up here... Last night we went out with Michael Bolton. Right, okay. great evening. Had a nice night. Tonight we're gonna we're fixing this for his dinner after the performance, and he wanted us to do this, and we said we would, and we're putting together this dinner, so um, um, let's do this. Okay. okay. First we're, we're gonna do a little bit, put a little bit of sauce, just a little bit, and then I'm gonna have you. Layer this. Now this pasta is already cooked. I cook it, you know, I cook it pretty al dente. Mm -hmm. We don't want to put too much because this, the combination of stuff here is what, what makes this work so good. See, that should be enough. We're okay. making enough. We're making enough for ten people. Right. Okay. I think that's the right blend, number. Blend that. Okay. And then the eggplant. Okay. Then, then we're gonna put the eggplant. So you want me to just layer yeah. this right okay. here? Let's put it down. We'll put one layer down. Pasta crushada. Okay. Folks, I tell you, this is special holiday pasta. Mm, okay, smells now, Lindsay, incredible. Put the eggplant. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that great? And the eggplant, you know, we fry it, and uh, or you can grill it, or you can bake it. Mm -hmm. Okay, because you want to go fast with it, because it's a lot of work. See so how easy this is? Now, if you like squash, you can do squash, too. Although okay. it's a little Instead bit more of the watery. Eggplant? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're up, you know, Lake Tahoe. This is nobody's up there. It's amazing. Now this is uh, well, this what, time of year. What it's month a is little, this? It's late May, Barely. but okay. But nobody's there. I mean, this, it's amazing. Yeah. It's so private. Okay. Now we give it, give it a handful of cheese. Okay. Have at it. Yep. Okay. Okay. One more. One more. Then All one right. one small handful of cheese. Uh, the the breadcrumbs. Bread ah. The okay. flavors. Mm, okay. it smells delicious. Go the mm. eggs. Put about two eggs, three eggs. You just spread Layer them up. Yeah. Man, I can taste this already. Now we got to bake this. This has got to bake for a couple hours because you want to have all this baking? stuff to to uh, to uh, incorporate. You know, pasta crushata. I can't believe I How found it. How do you spell it. that? C. Ooh, do you C? want one more? Yep, yeah, go one more. Oh, wow. uh, boy, I don't see. C R E S. Crushata. I think it might even be dialect. Oh, so it's you know, okay. I couldn't believe I found it in this one cookbook. I think it means to to envel envelop. I believe, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, okay, now we're gonna put a little bit more sauce. Okay. We spread it out. Now the sauce, we put peas in it. Now this is a vegetarian sauce. If we were making it the way my mom would make it, we'd have, um, we'd have uh, 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 meatballs and pieces of Italian sausage, and we'd make brajol, and she slices pieces of that in it. I grew up on that. I probably I mean, don't remember yeah. Grandma making it, but... That's so good. That's delicious stuff. Okay. 
And I, and I think for 10 people, two pounds of pasta is gonna be plenty. Okay. Cause you got all this other stuff. Why don't you go ahead and mix that? Oh, it smells Can heavenly. Can you use other mm -hmm. kinds of pasta? Well, you know, this is traditionally plain. the one. We've always, we've always was, was we mustacholi or penne. Uh -huh. uh, I think maybe you can use the, the, the round, the fusilli might work too. Okay, that's good. Okay. Yeah, plant again. Man, oh man, oh man, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is beautiful. Now these are my friend. I have friends that would, would, I remember Tommy Virga was one. Mm -hmm. Ronnie Alley, would, tell your mother to make that. Tell your mom to make that. And that's how much these guys like it. Okay. Good. We'll be right back with Pasta Crashada and the two, the two mother and daughter and the two beauties. We'll be right back. Oh, thanks, John. <laughs> Folks, if you just joined us, this is Monterey's Cooking. We're up in Lake Tahoe. This is my special guest. It's Therese Clark, Lindsay Clark. Just okay. graduated. New doctor, MD. Isn't that great? <laughs> One week. Into One week. Amazing. Amazing. Okay. I actually made it. We're up here doing a special command performance for Michael Bolton, believe it or not. He asked us to cook. Right, he's performing tonight in Reno. Mm -hmm. And we're, uh, we had dinner with him last night. Right. It's been a nice mm -hmm. time. Fun fun. time. Yeah. Lots of good wine. Lots good of laughs. good wine. Laughs. And uh, he wanted us to cook him a nice Italian style picnic. And that's what we're doing for him. Well, we're going to actually carry this. We're going to carry this through the lobby. <laughs> I don't know what it's going to look like, but it's okay. It's going to be fun. We're making pasta crushada, which is an old Sicilian dish. Includes Eggplant, pasta, cheeses, breadcrumbs, eggs, peas, all this kind of stuff. Real vegetarian, but delicious. Okay, so we'll continue. Okay, right? I'm supposed to put the cheese on. Okay, load it, load it up with cheese. Lots of cheese. And then plenty of cheese. The next layer yeah. is breadcrumb. Yep. Give another. Give her one more shot of cheese. Okay. Because that's a nice combination. We got Reggiano. We got Pecorino. Oh, smells nice, nice, amazing. I'll put the cut eggs. Okay, and this is going to be the last layer. Okay. Otherwise, the thing's going to weigh 50 pounds, and we're going to need two guys to carry it. Okay. Good. Tay, we are used to some pretty good Italian cooking from my family. Yes. And my dad was a great cook, and oh, he was. Really? He now, your pop did all the cooking? He did. He was oh, you see fabulous. See that? See that? Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Lots of garlic in our family. Good. And your last name was? Rindisi. And from? Actually... Upstate New York, but I'm not sure exactly where in wow. Italy, but maybe the port of Brindisi. I'll be darn, it must be. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Nice. It's the port that takes you right over across to Greece. Yes. Yep. Okay. Okay, we did the eggs. Now you see this? Now we're going to put a little bit of sauce. And now we're going to have one more layer. And that's going to be it. And I don't think I want to have any extra sauce. Now, Dr. Clark is your father and husband. Right. Okay, right. David Clark, my, Monterey. My husband, number her one, father. <laughs> number one, dottore. Yes. And he's out playing golf with Michael. I wonder how they're doing right now. I don't know. I don't Yesterday, know. they actually got snowed out. Yeah. They, got they played a few holes, <laughs> and they had to stop because of that's, snow. That's, 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 what, that's what happens up here. How high are we? About 6,000 or something? Lake 6, level is 6,200. Yeah. Yeah, we'll but they're actually higher than Lake Lover. Wow. They're up by Mount Rose. Oh, my. Which is probably about 7,000. Oh, mm. my God. I mean, it's a little hard to breathe here. Huh? Yeah, the <laughs> air is thin. You gotta, you. Move, you gotta move a little yeah, slow. The air is thin. That's fun, though. But uh, it's so beautiful. There's nobody here. Oh, Peaceful. Know. Yeah. Okay, now what do we do? Last layer of pasta. Last layer of pasta. Okay. okay. This is it. Let me put a little bit more. I actually cooked so, some extra pasta. This so. looks like it would feed twenty people. Well, I think you know what this is, goes. This is this is one of those dishes that gets better the next day. Mm. You know, it just because oh, it just absorbs. And it just tastes so, so good the next day. Is this day. breakfast for tomorrow? Could be. <laughs> Do I layer another? It's going to be the last layer. Okay. Yeah, let's move it. Let's make sure we can push it down a little bit. Yeah. You sure okay. you don't want to be a surgeon? <laughs> <laughs> no. Long hours. Now, what are you going to do now? You now you're you go to, into specialization now, correct? Going into residency starting mm -hmm. in a month. Yeah, where at? In Oakland, California. Oh, wow. Neat. And Good. going into internal medicine uh -huh. for the next three oh, years wow. of my life. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> Bless you. Although her father is pressing for cardiology, mm -hmm. <laughs> following his footsteps, mm -hmm. but I don't know about that one. Well, that's um, this looks. You so got to you got to do what you want to do, I guess. You know. Yeah. You got to follow your heart. Exactly. Okay, now we put, um, you know, what was our sequence? 
Oh, I think we need some eggs. More okay. eggs? We need eggs? What's our se I forgot the secret. Okay, cheese and breadcrumbs? Okay, cheese and breadcrumbs. Yeah, and then eggs finish it. Okay, now we load her up pretty good. Okay. okay. Put the eggs on. Oh, this looks good. This looks This delicious. is looking really good. Oh, smells God. This is one of, Too bad you, know, you can't smell this via You know, every time camera. I make this, every one comes out different. Really? Yeah. Because the sauce is always a little different, mm -hmm. the breadcrumbs, maybe the cheese blend okay, isn't the same. Sure. And so what else are we having tonight? Well, I think we've got, we made a, we've already made a big tiramisu this morning. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's in the oven, or in the refrigerator. We'll show the show folks that after. We're going to do a, a vegetable, a, a nice a crunchy salad, chop chop salad. Mm -hmm. And we got all those appetizers that we already did. And One you'll see, second. pardon me? Is this good? Yeah, go ahead, load them up. Load them up. And then uh, we got all those appetizers we made, and some wines, and uh, boy, you know, I hope they like it. Oh, they'll love it. They'll Please, love it. I now, it's so. a late right. dinner because now Michael what? prefers to perform on an empty stomach, mm -hmm. and then I guess the show, the show is about an hour and a half, and then you know, dinner. Okay. So our next show is going to be at the concert. So that's going to be a good one. That'll be next week. Okay. So what wines would be going with well, this tonight? Well, I think, tonight? you know, all those guys from what I saw last night, everyone's drinking red wine there, uh -huh. you know. So well, I don't know, we'll bring some of our sponsors' wines, some Martin Weirich, some of the uh, Meritage from, uh, uh, from Hanna States, you know, and the Brindisi. Okay, now we need, we need to uh, finish this off, and I'm going to be right back, so don't go away. Folks, in case you're just joining us, we're up in Lake Tahoe. We're cooking a special dinner for Michael Bolton. My helpers today are Lindsay Clark and Therese Clark, old friends of Michael Bolton. And uh, we're putting together a special pasta dish, all vegetarian, called pasta cachada. Mm. All right? We're Fabulous. just putting the finishing touches on it. Mm -hmm. Now, hey, before we finish this off, now you you know Michael's involved with the AT&T. And he's much, got his right? own he's got his own foundation, I understand, for children, too. I've heard that. Yep. And I know when he comes down here, did, no, did you? you well, I actually first met Michael um, this past AT&T um, because he was playing golf with my dad. And I was the caddy for my dad. And I got to follow them around for three days, 18 holes each day. Yeah. And it was great. And it was hard to keep a straight face, wasn't it? Lots he's of jokes. He's hilarious. He's a funny guy. He is yeah. a funny guy. He cracks jokes all around the course. <laughs> <laughs> it's too funny. I would tell some, but they're kind of dirty, so <laughs> we're I'm not going go to go there. I'm going to have to censor his jokes. But he's, yeah, he's well, great. Nice. He is yeah, a wonderful nice addition to the AT and T. He really helps bring in yeah. ticket sales, and all of course that money is great for the charities on the Monterey Peninsula. Right, so help, big help for the peninsula. It's a great yeah. event. Good. Okay, we're going to finish this off. Okay, we've got eight layers of egg, breadcrumbs, cheese, eggplant. Now we put. The last layer of sauce. The pièce de résistance, yep, huh? It. And then we'll finish it with the cheese again. It looks like the sauce is going to be here. Now, how long fresh. is this going to have to bake? This got to cook for two hours, uh, ter uh, Therese. Otherwise, okay. we want all these flavors to blend. You see. And then we're going to pack it in the car and drive to Reno. We're going to wrap it in a blanket. That, <laughs> that's how my mom used to do it. You get it take it to the hotel. Yeah. We're going to wrap it in the blanket, take it to a hotel. They're going to think it's a body or something. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Cheers. At least after the concert. Yep. Yes, sir. This is going to be good tomorrow, too. So knowing Lindsay's appetite, I, I think you've already seen how much she eats. Do you think this will I'm be Italian. enough for 10 people? <laughs> she already had a dish of pasta. <laughs> I already tried this. Delicious. Okay, let's finish it with the cheese okay. and the breadcrumbs. And this Generous is on the cheese? Yeah, load yeah. it up. Oh, now yeah. we load it up. Okay. And do you grind this cheese yourself? Oh, yeah. You know, I use my Cuisinart art for grinding. Oh, okay. Yeah, just cut it small and let it rip. Of course, I burn them out every year or so just by doing Right. I have a question. Sure. I think Lindsay actually wanted to ask you something What's about that? the fact that you're going to be working long hours and not have a yeah. lot of time to cook. And Actually, being at the hospital, yes. you know, it'd be nice to get little goodie packages every now Ooh, and then. Ooh, okay. It's a good <laughs> From food John's that kitchen. Any, <laughs> anytime. And you, hey, Michael, too. Michael wants me to send this sauce to him. Okay, anytime. You just yeah. tell me, I'll, I'll make okay. a bunch and I'll freeze it for you. And then uh oh, it's on, it's it on tape now, okay. John. You're stuck. Okay. You're stuck. <laughs> You never know who you're going to find up here. <laughs> Savvy Mercurials. 
Val Tringali. Not bad. What do you think, boys? It's going to be a nice concert. I think it's going to be a great concert. Yeah? It's going to be nice. We just left Mr. Michael in the, uh, in the dressing room warming up. Patrick, you get a lot of good shots. Oh, great shots, right? yeah. Man, Grace is filling up. It's going to be a good, good concert. Looking forward to it. You guys spend a little money down there or what? Oh, yeah. Uh, Eldorado's going to take care of it today. All right, good. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. We got some other relatives. We got to go see if we can bring them. Later. See, you never know who you're going to find here. Hey, this is my nephew, they're from Santa Fe. Oh, no, they're from Fresno. Give hey, Uncle John a big smile. Hey, buddy. You see that? Okay, we'll see you later. No, is that, is that right? Is that yeah. true? A lot of people. All right, I've got to start doing some voice lessons. This would be like you getting the water boiling, basically. <laughs> Yeah. 